Hey guys, it's your girl Carmes. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys have not seen my Nadula hair review, be sure to check that out. In the video, my hair was a little damp, so this is how the hair looks like fully dried. Uh -uh -uh. But anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here. Okay, I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. And this is what it looks like. I've been wanting to try this and I finally got a hold of it. I finally bought it. So I went to Target and I tried looking for my shade. It was kind of weird. Like the shade, this shade right here is 330. And I thought I needed like a darker shade. So I tried 334 and it looks so like off. Like it did not match my skin whatsoever. So... I just went with 330 and it pretty much matches well it matched it in Target I'm not sure how it actually really matches but anyways this is from Target you can get it from any drugstore Target Walmart wherever and this was $9.99 $9.99 and I also got another setting spray because I ran out of my setting spray from e.l.f. so I got a new one anyways I'm just gonna start off with some concealer I'm not doing like a, a full face because I just want to focus this makeup video on the foundation so I'm just going to like I normally do I just put on concealer just to cover up most of my um, blemishes and pimples and all that so I'm just gonna do that Yeah, I know I've been looking, not really looking, but I've been wanting, I wanted a new foundation just simply because it is summer now and my skin is going to get darker. So I want to get a foundation that will match for summer. My skin still will get dark because the summer like literally just started. So. Hopefully it doesn't get, hopefully it doesn't get um, too different so I don't have to keep buying new foundation shades, you know. Okay, concealer is on. This isn't a makeup look or anything, we're just strictly going to be testing out the foundation and I'm going to also just apply the setting spray to see the, the finishing touches. And maybe some highlight, <laughs> just because. So this is a pump, this is a pump so it's not like the other ones where it's just a tube and you just pour it out so you have to pump it and yeah y'all if this does not match I'll be tight it does look extremely let me see okay it does cover up really well I think it's about like three pumps. It depends how much foundation you put on your face. I typically don't put a lot because the concealer does most of the work. Okay, so it pretty much matches, to be honest. I'm going to be putting on this foundation again tomorrow and like actually go out with it tomorrow. So that'll be like the true test of the foundation because right now I'm just testing it to see. Wow, it's very lightweight. You like literally feel like there's nothing on your face. And I think it matches, like I could see it doesn't look weird yeah it looks like it matches let's go on with the setting spray from elf it's all illuminating 
mist and set spray and this one it's not illuminating so it's not like the original one it's actually new so this one is this fine mist creates a natural looking glow on the skin with ultra fine light reflecting particles for an illuminating effect perfect for all skin tones infused with vitamin a c e and green tea to help hydrate nourish and brighten it for radiant looking skin the lightweight comfortable formula improves makeup wearability and prevents color from running or fading and yeah so again yeah you put it for you put your spray after you're done with your makeup and you can also use it to touch up your makeup yeah or for a quick touch up to refresh and illuminate after makeup application shake well okay so let's test this out I've just had like the original one I never tried the I never tried this one so Add some highlight just because you know what I'm saying you can never go wrong with highlight. Oh, this is by the way my Wet and Wild um, highlighter. Okay guys, so this is how it's looking like. So far so good. I'm actually going to be wearing it tomorrow so I'll pretty much get a gist of how it actually looks like that throughout the whole day. This is for coverage and it claims that it it's, you can wear this for a full 24 hours. I mean, who puts on who wears makeup for 24 hours? But yeah, it says it lasts 24 hours and seamlessly matte finish. It does look matte, fade, and transfer resistant. It's oil free. It doesn't clog pores. Um, dermatologist tested. Yeah, it says 330 and toffee, toffee caramel. And again, I got this from Target and I'm liking it to be honest. I don't really see like a big difference between my other foundations and this. I'm just testing that right now, so I'm not sure how it actually works throughout the day. So that'll be a big test for me tomorrow, but I'll definitely update you guys. I don't know when, but. <laughs> I'll probably make an update video on it. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys turn your post notifications to notify every single time that I upload my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. And it's bomb as fuck. If you like spicy food, get that. But if you like spicy stuff, then get that. So this tastes mad good. I usually have this like in my burritos and stuff so <laughs> look at my sister's sandwich bro from Burger King <laughs> it's all yeah. yeah there we go chicken sandwich but anyways I have a salad with some chicken it's not good and it's not high in calorie whatsoever it's around like 250 so y'all good okay Yeah, this is my second mukbang. Mm. It's not good. And I just have some hot ass water as we're sitting in the car. But yeah, I usually get this salad because it's mad good. And yeah.